Hi, I'm Symphoneers, and today we're taking a look at a Lear Hullbreaker Horror deck. I was thinking I hadn't seen them around on the ladder lately, and uh, after whipping up a list that used them, it's been doing pretty well, so uh, let's get into it. So the list is very much built around establishing a kind of lock condition with Hullbreaker Horror and Lear. Um, once those are down, your opponent can't actually do anything. In order to make sure we can actually draw and use Lear and the Kraken, we have just a whole whole pile of draw. Uh, we do run three Galvanic iterations to double up on big scores in particular, although they are useful in other places too. Uh, we are running four Ledger Shredders, again to help churn through our deck, get more instants and sorceries in our graveyard for Lear, help us draw Lear, and it is also just a pretty good card. Um, a very good blocker versus Small aggro in particular, like tutus and stuff, just bounce off of it, which is great. Uh, we are running a fair amount of interaction, four lightning strikes, three play with fires, four fading hopes. This is all primarily to stabilize versus aggro, and even some uh, mid-range decks like fading hope on a shieldred or something really uh, sets opponents back. So that's that's why we're uh, running all that stuff. We do have three slip out the backs. This is just to protect Hullbreaker and Leer, or help protect them, and four considers, again, just for churning through the deck and stuff. It's a very simple list in that we're pretty all in on the shared build incentives between Leer and Hullbreaker Horror, like the cheap instant speed stuff to lock our opponent out of the game and push through damage once we have played everything out. I do see people trying to jam like invokes and stuff into Leer decks, which I don't think is worthwhile just in in kind of a general sense they really excel um both Lear and the kraken uh really excel with cheap stuff that maximizes the effect of Lear's double draw or like the flashback clause and hullbreakers um bounce multi-zone bounce so yeah that that's why we have so many cheap things in the list nothing super complicated in the mana base play set of each duel and the kamigawa lands for the respective colors yeah, I think that's about everything. Um, just general plug for all the links in the description. Twitter, Patreon, Discord, etc. Lots of cool links in the description. Mm. Anyway, let's get on to some gameplay. Okay. I think I like this hand. Um, Ledger Shredder. Bunch of stuff to do on two mana, which is good. It can be awkward when you draw into all your four mana spells. I'm glad we have interaction versus mono red. Uh, let's... Oh, the Fading Hope could be very good here. Often I'll just fire off a Consider if it's the only thing we have to do on one. Um, but if they are getting a Kamano counter on something with Haste, for example, then the Fading Hope is pretty good here. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm into that, I think. Ledger Shredder number two? No, I want land for <laughs> Hullbreaker Horror, probably. Um, or that, that would be good. Let's play out the Ledger Shredder. It can chump block the Kumano, although they might be holding up, or they might try to hold up, like, a play with fire or a lightning strike or something to deal with it. Um, let's be a coward. Normally I don't do this, I will just take the block and make them burn the instant speed removal. But I think we have enough stuff in hand. Ooh, Thermo Alchemist, it's burn! Oh, I like that. Um, okay, so yeah, definitely, definitely good we didn't block the Kumano there. They have it, they have something in hand. So let's do Lightning Strike on the Thermo Alchemist, and then the Consider. This will give us the counter on the Ledger Shredder, and we can dump the Memory Deluge to the Shredder Connive uh, and still get some value. I will take more land, honestly. No attacks. No attacks. I think we still kind of will take this. Maybe we take this block now. Hmm. They might be trying to set up to flash back the burn they use with the Bloodthirsty Adversary, like not play it out the, uh, not play their adversary out this turn. Nope, they're just going for it. Okay. Um. Ooh, no attacks. Tremendous. We get value out of Ledger Shredder without having to even, uh, even risk it. 
so I'm just going to fire off big score at sorcery speed. One of my pet peeves with other people playing decks like this, uh, you might remember from when All Runs Epiphany copying was all the rage, is people holding instant speed spells for no reason. Like, burning treasure to slip out the back here is perfectly fine for us, and we want to do that anyway to help set up for the Hellbreaker Horror. So, well, you don't... you don't always have to... <laughs> This is a me playstyle thing that I consider good manners. Mm. Um, maybe, yeah. There can be reasons doing that is bad and wrong. But in this situation, none of those apply. So, yeah, we will just do this. I will, at this point, for sure, take, like, them burning a shock or something on the ledger, sh uh, ledger shredder, since we do have good Hullbreaker Horror set up. Also, once we resolve the Hullbreaker Horror, it's unlikely that they'll be able to punch through it. We could, yeah, we can also just slip out the back of this, although we might... Protecting the Horror is nominally more important. Um, six, uh, I think we let this resolve. Just because if we can get the Horror out next turn, we get to eat uh, probably the etching for free. And kind of go from there. So, end turn. Opponent untaps. We have a large crab. Carcinization. Ever heard of it, opponent? Hey, oh, bush, I'm crabbing here. Uh, <laughs> dumb. Um, flame breather. I do like Kessig flame breather. Uh, one of my favorite cards that I, st I still don't think the deck quite gets there, like various builds of burn. They're not where I want them to be anyway. So here's the Hullbreaker Horror. Uh, and they don't have anything that can kill it. At best they have a deal five. So yeah, that's all good. Um, I think... I think. Just get in with the Hullbreaker Horror. We can do the Sekensen activation thing or the channel ability to get some 1-1s. One the 1-3 one does make that a little bit more awkward, but closing out the game from this point is kind of a formality. Um, the Galvanic iteration in hand, a little, little bit awkward. Like, not accruing us a lot of value. This is why I cut down from four of them. Um, yeah, cut down from four Galvanics and four big scores, because when you can do that combo, it's great. Oh, hello. Resolve. Um. No. No. This is a little bit cheeky, but... That helps them stall more than I necessarily like. Whoop. Get those tokens. Lovely. Uh, memory deluge. Oh, pardon me, I definitely should have done this. Held that for their turn. <laughs> After I said the thing about manners in the in the previous thing. Shh, shh. Um, it was fine. Yeah, storm carved coast. Uh, memory deluge. Just land and stuff to do. Doesn't really matter because um, Hullbreaker can bounce the burn down the house tokens after they resolve to. It's just diligent, probably, to actually hold it for their turn. I got excited. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, the burn down the house happens. Three tokens and a Phoenix chick. All right, so we should be good. We just memory deluge for some stuff and go from there. Do 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 do. Oh, hello. Yes, all that works perfectly well. Uh. <laughs> and lightning strike to the face. Ha ha. Uh. Yeah, just a very good, clean game versus an aggressive deck, which is yeah, nice. Uh, good games to the opponent. Um, sure, I will take this. There's a lot of decks where I would not be comfortable with a hand like this, but this one we like a fair amount of land. Um, okay, Thirst is not bad. 
you know, we like a fair amount of land and there's just early action or early stuff to do, definitely play with Fire the Jukai Naturalist. Yeah, so reverses enchantments. I believe this is one of our better matchups, or we, we tend to do okay here. So let's do this. Um, I will hold up the Fading Hope, probably. Hmm. See, just in case they have... Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, thirst for Discovery. Chuck a Mountain, because we're very blue heavy in hand. Galvanic Iteration. Um, maybe consider just in case... I will take a big score. Big score is pretty good card velocity. Also, we might be able to set up the Galvanic... Mm. Don't... Uh, yeah, maybe we can set up the Galvanic Iteration thing. I'm not... I don't play around like that being mandatory. Um, I will just fire off big scores on turn 4 or 5 to draw cards and stuff. Uh, let's... Chuck the Shivan Reef. We might... Hmm. We can ditch the slip out the back to the big scores. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Get some stuff happening. More big scores. Okay, lovely. So we'll get to do the Galvanic Iteration big score thing next turn. And we still have a Fading Hope in hand for the Jukai Naturalist, or whatever they end up doing. Which is cool and good. So, opponent... It seems like there may be a little bit... Oh, Boseju reaches Skyward. I like that card, I don't think it goes in that enchantment deck. Um... I've built a budget green deck I don't think I ended up doing a video on, but it had a full play set of these, and yeah, good card. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Getting distracted by my own thoughts. Woo! So let's do Galvanic Iteration. Big score. Uh, chuck a land. Do big score things. Ledger Shredder. Mm. Birds. Birds are the words. Do we want to get those out this turn? Maybe. We've already double spelled for the turn, which is awkward. Um, yeah, given that we didn't hit a Kraken or a Leer, and we are pretty high on, like, natural mana, which is to say lands, uh, not non-treasure mana, let's get those out in case our opponent double spells here. And we get some free knives to work with. Uh, or we can bounce the Jukai Naturalist. Oh, perfect. Thank you, opponent. Yeah, card draw happening. Uh, let's shoot the Jukai Naturalist. Just get that out of the way real quick. Resolve, chuck the other mountain. Let the Touch the Spirit Realm resolve, see what it targets. One on the left, let's slip that Shredder out the back, and we get some more Knives. Yeah, that's why we... Ooh, Leer, okay. So, Leer is very good here. Um, we chuck those instants because we'll have access to them with Leer. It's part of why I really, really like Ledger Shredder in a deck like this. Um, or in, like, in combination with Leer in particular. So our opponent, figuring out what they're up to, uh, lovely, lovely, um, do, oh, 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 let's make sure we tap the mountain to cast Leer, um, just do now. Oh, the UI, truly the hardest, or like most struggle-laden part of this deck. I think we will not worry about maximizing damage here, just because holding up interaction for their turn is very good for us. We do want to hold up a lot of Leer protection in particular, like they could double spell um, removal, although all of that being sorcery speed is... all their removal being sorcery speed is... makes things easier for us. We might bounce the branch of Boseju, or the Hallowed Haunting. Hmm. Michiko's Reign of Truth, huh. 
Okay. Uh, let's chuck the Galvanic iteration. Uh, chuck the Memory Deluge, because we can make land drop and play from the graveyard. So, our birds are getting big. Hmm. Okay. We have a plan now. Uh, consider... I don't... Uh, maybe we can... We can keep that, I guess. Consider and play with fire on the Spirit Cleric. Drop the other consider we hit. Drop the mountain. Keep the duel. I respect those spirit tokens a lot. They are the main way our opponent has to get us at this point. So let's Fading Hope the Branch of Poseju. It does give them some value, but I'm not that fussed about um, about them getting value here. Like nominal kind of land drop uh, recursion value. Let's chuck the... <laughs> Fair. Um, yeah, from there... That's a good example of a non non hullbreaker win. Like if you just leverage uh, Leer to absolutely have a billion cards all the time, it is great. You're probably still going to win the game even if you don't draw the Kraken. So anyway, good game to our opponent. Well, this hand is hmm hmm. This hand is fairly awkward, but I'll risk and keep. Um, awkward in that we can run out of gas. Like. We want something to leverage the Galvanic Iteration human, okay. So, probably the Esper deck? I think they're on Secluded Courtyard, I don't totally remember. Uh, or just something else. Hmm. hmm. Might try to save the Galvanic Iterations for the Lightning Strike. Although... Might be worthwhile to use them before. Kind of want to see what the opponent's getting up to. Like, I'll just take two here. Um... I think. Another Guardian of New Benalia. Ooh. M mm -hmm. Gamble? Pew pew. Yeah, maybe I should have just shot the other one. That's always a weird tension with playing, like, a kind of control combo uh, deck. Figuring out what's actually worth it. Ow, okay. Ugh, nope. Not great. Yeah, we would have just been lightning striking anyway. So, hopefully we can get something working out. Um... Something happening soon. Uh, I was surprised the matchups versus Burn ended enchantment so far went quite as smoothly as they did. It's fairly normal, like, versus more aggressive matchups um, for this deck to stabilize on, like, two. Uh, Anointed Peacekeeper might be a problem. Mm hmm. -hmm. I think it's just correct for them to name Deluge or Hullbreaker Horror. Galvanic Iteration does... yeah, okay. Understandable move from the opponent. Naming... oh no. Uh, bad keep. Bad keep. This is very much the thing I was worried about. Of, um... yeah, drawing... Drawing lands and galvanic iterations and stuff. The Peacekeeper 2 is extra awkward. Cause we don't even have the option of like memory deluging for interaction now. Um do 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 do. My turn. Well, okay. Uh we just don't draw anything in the, the lower half of our deck, unfortunately. We're literally dead dead on board, so good games to the opponent. Hmm. Ooh. 
Yes, please. I like Ledger Shredders. Ledger Shredders and Card Draw. Uh, feels good. Orzhov from the opponent, so probably Turbo Removal of some variety. So the Shredders might not stick around and do that much, but at least we're uh, doing things on early turns. Bank Buster, sure. I was hoping for a one mana spell. Um, one mana spell with two Ledger Shredders out is great, but alas, we are not quite so lucky. Uh, opponent curves out to three mana. Here is the Liliana of the Veil. Who who That's could have right. seen that coming? And you think you can win? Um, yeah. So one Ledger Shredder goes down. Um. Hmm. 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 Can we gamble? Let's do a little gamble, a small gamble, Thirst for Discovery. Okay. So we don't get to put a counter on the Ledger Shredder. But we do get to insulate it from future removal, which is nice. No fun when they hit back. Um, yeah, the other thing we have there, we can like Galvanic Iteration Lightning Strike, but I'm not, I'm not that fond of that move without a second thing to Lightning Strike. Uh, let's do the cut down, or slip out the back to protect from the cut down. And if they burn more removal here, sure. Ooh, the slip out the back is good. So, 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 so. I think we're just memory deluging. Um, like for a land, a Leer would be pretty good at this point, too. Hmm. Waiting on the opponent to make a decision. Leer, hi. Good to see you, good to have you. So we're not playing Leer out at this point because we can't protect the Leer, which is the most important part of playing Leer. Um, Leer. Secretly, at least a six mana creature. So just end turn. I think we're firing off the memory deluge. We're waiting here, or like we're being, we're doing the control thing, player thing of waiting for information. Uh, because if they do play out something we can, or that we really want to like fading hope, or uh, just otherwise dig for one mana removal, as part of the Memory Deluge, we would like to have that information. Or potentially we can Deluge for a slip out the back if they burn removal here. Graveyard Trespasser, sure. Um, Lovely, they go for a creature, so our instants and sorceries are okay. Uh, they do not crew the Bank Buster. Yeah, let's Deluge. I'm, I was tempted to Lightning Strike on the Trespasser, discard the Galvanic Iteration. Hullbreaker Horror Shiv and Reef sounds good to me. Um, but yeah. So, 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 so. Leer. We only have the Slip for protection, but a Slip out the back is pretty good on its own. Like, they might burn... Sure, they do the Bank Buster here. They might burn removal on Leer, or like if they play out an Edict Effect and we slip out the back Leer, um, an Edict Effect being like an Invoke Despair or Liliana. If they do that, it would still hit the Ledger Shredder, which isn't great, but keeping Leer safe and kind of setting up for the Hullbreaker Horror is our main concern in this situation. They can force our hand, which is awkward. Uh, the Graveyard Trespasser targeting the slip out the back. So if they do that, I think we slip out Leer, even although they can respond to the removal. Uh, yeah, the entire thing's a little bit weird. It might have been it might have been correct to remove the trespasser sooner. Yeah, the attack is awkward for them just in that. If they want to, if they want to kind of do that and force my hand, it does require trusting that I'm not going to block with Leer or that they can um, otherwise do something here. Looks like they're hovering the slip. So I will take this or try to. Leer, destroy evil. Yep, okay. So yeah, we probably 
Hmm. Don't think I've actually played into that many trespassers with this deck, honestly. So I think it's maybe more correct to play a little bit slower. Let's ooh. Ah, e ooh. Decisions, choices. Um. Yeah, maybe correct to play that a little bit slower and like lightning strike the graveyard trespasser. This is very iffy. Um. I think we can take some hits for a turn. I think we can take some hits for a turn. So, yeah, we will... Mm -hmm. No attacks, keep the Ledger Shredder on defense. They will get to eat some stuff, which is not great. I have one through a farewell before, which is why I'm not wildly concerned about the Trespasser's Exile. Uh, Galvanic Iteration Big Score in particular will do a lot for giving us just value. I think given that we don't have good Hullbreaker protection in hand, and by Hullbreaker protection I don't even mean slip out the back, I just mean like considers and play with fires and um, things to cast to protect it. I think we will lean towards... I guess if they go for the Memory Deluge too, we can just cast the Memory Deluge, although that's not... I don't think that's high enough impact for my liking. Hmm... Yeah, Leer and the Deluge, um... Resolve. I think we want to try to set up a better Hallbreaker Horror turn. I'll stall this out, or like Chump Block here. Stop on the opponent's end step wedding announcement. Great, that's very low pressure. So, Galvanic Iteration. Would you like to draw a card with Bankbuster opponent? Uh, chuck the land. We also get a Ledger Shredder Knife out of the deal too, which is nice. Um... Yep, yeah, they crack the bank buster, and our big score kind of resolves. Uh, Ledger Shredder Knife happens too, which is not the worst. Um, is the Fading Hope good here? The Fading Hope's not bad. Fading Hope's not bad, although the other big score is nice. Let's chuck the Galvanic Iteration, just because I think copying the big score is less of a, less of a ridiculous payoff than it might otherwise be. Uh, yeah. Let's just say that all of that's good, and my turn. So, we can... Ledger Shredder, big score, and we have enough to Hullbreaker Horror. Uh, sorry, counting is hard. Whee! For, um... Also, there's just some noises from the people upstairs. Hey. Brain, brain, brain work better. Sorry, we would have six, seven, eight. So yes, this is this is good. Oh, that took me way too long. Watch me edit that to make myself look smarter. We uh, ledger shredders. Chuck one of the fading hopes. Chuck probably the other fading hope because a slip out the back for the Hullbreaker horror is very nice. Two slips, great. Um, yeah, we can, we can get aggressive here. Smash it to phase. And, and turn. Trespasser flips back today, which is helpful. Scoured Barons, tap land for our opponent. I think we're in pretty good shape. Hmm. They crew the bank buster. I think we're chiefly concerned with blocking the trespasser if they attack with it. I assume they will, especially if they remove the ledger shredder here. Uh, Lisa, I... 
Ooh. No, this is okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not happy about Lisa. Um, I forgot Lisa's in standard. I don't like Lisa. Lisa is a problem. Uh, so, Graveyard Trespasser attacks. In this case, um, because they played out Lisa, we're blocking probably a token and the bank buster. Uh, sure. Although, if they burn removal in response to the horror, we can slip out the back uh, something and kind of go from there. Nope, this is good. So, pass, lock, block. We take six, that's fine. Um, yeah. Tokens have no corpse. Bankbuster's not a creature in other zones. Tenacious underdog. Oh, they give us some knives. Lovely. Uh, no Shivan Reef, thank you. Mm, Sakenzen, not great here either. What? She works. It's not a creature, though. Goddamn. That card. Okay, so that's why she resolves. Uh, that's very annoying. Or, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, we should be good here. Um, let's do... Zippity Zappity on the underdog. Return Lisa to hand. And consider... I think we can consider here. It's a little bit aggressive, but... Just gives us a lot of juice to work with. Um, let's boot. Yeah, uh, you back to hand. Can I have that away? Can I have the lands away? Uh, I'm punting, aren't I? We have lethal on board. We have lethal on board. Do 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 do. I got I got lost in the sauce. The the carcinization sauce. Um. Anyway, good games to our opponent. Hmm. This hand's real awkward. Um, it is interactive, which is something. Uh, risky keep. Risky keep. Oh boy. One thing I miss about companions is just kind of knowing what your opponent's playing in best of one. Oh, th that was the single upside to that garbage mechanic. Um, so, Plaza of Heroes does probably mean the Esper net deck that people have been doing. Oh, Thalia, hey. Thalia is suboptimal. Let's cry for land. Uh, land, 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 land. Nope, okay. Yeah, missing land drops with this hand is not great, especially given that we just drew a 4-mana spell. Um, probably just just casting the other Fading Hope. Hmm, Band? You can do some neat stuff with Band. Hey, Shauna. You count as neat stuff, Shauna. We will just kill Shauna, I think. Um, yeah. Definitely not a card we want to let them snowball with. More fading hopes and no lands, not ideal. All yeah happens. Uh, end step stop, because Danic happens. Okay. Land, 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 land. We are at least interactive. That's a land. Woo! Um... Do we just bounce Denic now? We can Galvanic it, and we can't do that after Thalia resolves, which is awkward. <sighs> yeah, even if we cast the Galvanic before she's down, um, the Fading Hope will still cost two. Domain! Oh. Oh, boy. Um, so let's 
Helena and Elena are very scary, but at least that means the Fading Hope Galvanic Iteration thing is uh, alive. That's land. I will take that. So we're good. We're holding on. I'm going to big score away the Fading Hope because we need, we need like lands and a Leer. A Leer is good. A Leer, we can work with a Leer, I think. Um... Elena and Elena. Yep, that makes sense. Hopeful Initiate. They get the haste on the Hopeful Initiate, but that's relatively fine as far as Helena and Elena enemy turns go. Um, Leer. I think... Mm, I think we're just straight up bouncing one now. Or bouncing Helena and Elena here. Um, can we gamble that they don't have removal for Leer? Maybe? Right now we just need to slow them down enough for, like, our Leer snowball to uh, really add up and start mattering. Oh, it's a Jota deck. Lovely. I, uh, Jota's not a good card. <laughs> or, hmm, yeah. Pass. Um, do we even bounce Joda? Probably. Although we can wait. Uh, we can wait. Yeah, let's let's wait. So Shivan Reef, big score. Fading up. Uh, big score away the Shivan Reef to draw some lands. Bounce the Joda. Uh, yeah, we are hoping for land. Cool and good. Bounce the Joda. Um. And we can hold up. No tax. We will get to do Hallbreaker Horror stuff soon. This is a deck that we're very good at stopping from doing things, which is nice. Uh, or, or it's helpful, so... Hopeful Initiate, A. Eh? So, oh, do we want to Galvanic Iteration of Lightning Strike? We can. Um, I don't think that's strictly worth it. I do like just Lightning Striking the Helena, uh, Helena and Elena before they do their thing, though. I think that's totally, totally fine. Um, yeah, my turn. So we do have Hullbreaker plus Slip Out the Back or Fading Hope mana, which is something. Uh, no attacks again. Hmm. So Helena and Elena down. They'll probably try to stick Joda again, I would imagine. Oh, Thalia. Um. How do we feel about Thalia? That doesn't stop us from slamming down the Hullbreaker Horror, and we can just kill Thalia next turn. Okay. Sure. Yeah, if they're tapping out for this, um, our opponent can learn the ultimate physical form. The, the final stage of evolution. The crab. Hullbreaker Horror, uh, just take four off of the Initiate. Cool. So my turn. Uh, let's... Oh no, they know what's coming. Just like Lightning Strike, bounce, bounce, hit them for 11 or whatever, and then stop them from playing any more cards with the Hullbreaker, and yeah, we, we have the game from there. Um, oh, good games to the opponent. Thank you for watching the video, and an extra big thanks to Alex, Spur, and Madjack, my $5 Patreon patrons. I have multiple tiers at the Patreon if you want to support that way. Uh, if you can't afford it, no worries. Just liking, subscribing, and generally engaging for the algorithm helps the channel a lot. Thank you again. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye